is vipi watu wangu wangu vu reporting from Nicholas Kioko TikTok itatunisha mambo and we all know that TikTok is a social media platform ambayo iko na very addictive quality and high levels of engagement pale ma video hapa na pale and tunajua some of the stars that actually raise uh, rise to fame as a result of he TikTok tukianza na Asia na Senya na wengine wengi cause tunajua success zake nyingi zilianza pale TikTok and guys types of content zote yani za kila aina from dance comedy uh, tuko na lip syncing pale tiktok zinaweza kufanya and these days all ages wako tiktok now talking of ages the old folks kwizi wamechukulia tiktok seriously na wengine wakikuja mtandaoni pale kutupatia content zingine ni za kiajabu zingine ni comedy like na zingine i don't know in what category they actually lie na tunajua these old folks tunakumbuka shoshu wa kinangop may her soul rest in peace pale alikuwa na bamba watu sana na content zake tuko na gogo silvia ambaye at this point ako na 150k plus followers pale TikTok na kuna huyu sasa hivi ana trend kwenye mitandao by, uh, by the name Patrick Mbashio. Now as we speak sai Patrick is taking TikTok by storm kwa sababu ana trend pale with his dance videos and let me tell you maina naweza kuwa nikisema old fox unadhania ati zile ngoma anacheza pale ni zile za kize. Hell no. Anacheza ngoma za kina Chris Brown, Asha and people are like this guy has amazing amazing ta- uh, taste of music hata kama he is old. Now, uh, one of the things zenye zinashika this content ambayo inafanywa na Patrick is uh, zile makoti yanakuwa gamehang pale kwa ukuta others waki confuse hiyo uh, na a thrift shop someone was saying uh, nilikuwa nadhani it's a thrift shop kumbe ni bedside uh, bedside ya mtu and guys uh, anaweza nga kwenda live na anapata gifts cause believe you me ako na fans pale but leo aliweza ku trend sana after aliweza kufanya video pale akitaja the, uh, the uh, ladies ambao anaweza ku, uh, ameweza kuleta pale kwa Okay. And guys when he is doing this TikTok video sengine anafanya na madem pale na akaweza kusema kwamba wanateka ladies na anawaleta for sleepovers ladies from all towns tukianza na Nairobi, Joro, Nakuru, Embu etc. Now after that particular video ambayo alikuwa anambia the ladies wenye wamekuja sleep over they are free to come over again Patrick aliweza ku introduce mpoa wake doing several videos na this one chick that looked actually very young to him lakini watu wanasema squeeze mapenzi haijui miaka yani age is not a factor when it comes to love but is it though sijui we utatueleza now uh, watu wanashanga how is he able to pull all these ladies like anatumia mbi- nugani ku get all these young shorties kuweza kukuja kwake for sleepovers and all that now this particular lady ambaye aliweza ku introduce kama mpoa wangu yani mtu wangu aliweza kusema kwamba this girl is from Nairobi and anakujanga kwake bila kuitisha fair and that is the main reason why ana qualify kuwa mpoa wake ama mtu wake na waliweza ku record romantic videos pale with the girl looking a bit shy lakini Patrick alikuwa all touchy uh, and the girl alikuwa nakani kama she's partly enjoying she's partly shy hatujui na fans waliweza ku react sana to this particular videos za huyu dem na Patrick and this is what what some said moja aliweza kusema the lady seems to be very happy enjoy usisikize comment section how hata kulipia bills and guys we all know the notion of having a mbaba who actually finances your bills huko Nairobi ni kutaf and people are wondering is that the scenario is that the case of Patrick na huyu mpoa wake that her name remains anonymous and guys mwingine aliweza kusema can never be me nijikute na mzee kama huyu at age is a number na mwingine naweza kusema another smartphone on the wrong hands acha mbaba aliye mtoto wenyewe akuwe kama yeye because guys we could be uh, we could hear patrick saying in that video kwamba alikuwa amempikia ugali uh, omena and skuma na alikuwa anamwambia kula wacha nikulishe nikule ukuwe kama mimi my goodness and yet another naweza kusema reason why you should uh, engage in every manner of sins ukiwa mdogo mzee missed a lot akiwa kijana na watu wanaweza kuweka hii situation kama he is actually making up for lost time akiwa mdogo maybe he was too serious 
hivyo ndo watu wanajaribu kuinterpret mwingine aliweza kusema the girl is not comfortable but jubils zitakuwa sorted anajikaza tu now could that be the case let me know on the comment section mwingine aliweza kusema the girl is not okay from the look of things it's only that the guka pays her bills and so she has to comply but why run for your life girl we and guys uh, another one actually said why is no one talking about the courts zimehangiwa kwa ukuta i thought ni thrift at first and guys hiyo ndo signature style that bed sitter that patrick lives in inakwanga na makoti pale na mzee uweza uh, kupiga luku pale luku ingine watu uweza uh, kuiongelelea pale wakisema that this guy is another uh, is on another level mwingine aliweza kusema vibing to old school uh, rnbs man's got test i told you guys this mzee is not listening to old folk music anasikiza music za kishua and yet another one says sasa utadamu na dada huyo wa orange akifika 27 dem haoni red flags and this is into relation with video ambayo aliweza kusema later on Uh, kwamba ladies that are 27 and above years old wanafawachia the young ones that is 26 and below uh, waweze ku enjoy the dating scene and that is why huyo anasema this particular mpoa wake akishafika 27 years old pia ye ataachwa and that is a red flag now i don't know what you think about this whole situation of patrick dating a young girl or his content on tiktok lakini ningependa sana uweze kutujuza pale on the comment section what you think about about this particular story that is all for the updates reporting from Nicolas Kioko TV my name is Sky Kakwe tupatane on the next news